Ah, I, lo I really, really like her voice. Kia ora and welcome back. My name is Zoe TV, your vocal coach for today. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Becky Hill, Chase and Status with Disconnect at the Brit Awards. I can't wait. Becky's been coming up a lot on my Instagram. She's an incredible belter and I cannot wait to see what she's up to with her vocal technique. <laughs> so i mean i've got no idea who that was obviously i'm gonna find out later but the um that was over a track you could see the the lips were a little bit out of sync there it doesn't matter I'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm just saying you could see that he was bringing down but i can't reach those types of notes you could see that his his chin was a bit retracted to help to push that larynx down and that sort of like shaggy-esque kind of sound you can see though can you let's watch that just one again watch that chin we are the champion of sound can't test here and up for the millions big money you know the brits can done brits can done we drop a big dub for fun big bad sound from out of england now watch me kill tear the whole place down i ain't gonna lie to you that's a really life man. the right page now <laughs> it's always the problem when you i'm really shit at remembering the names of songs but i can remember what them once i've heard them so ah i know this one this comes up on my workout playlist all the time so um becky hill she's an incredible belter by the way i want you to look at the way that she's breathing um because you can see short sharp high breaths we're just going to go back to the beginning of her of her part here now we do know that becky is a she's from what I've seen from her like live Instagram things, she is a loud belter. Now you don't have to like belting is inherently loud. It doesn't necessarily have to be super. Oh, that's really life, and I need a night or two to get me unwind. I feel like I'm so inside those This is like, um, oh, I'm just loving it. So you can see there as well, Becky kind of moved her mouth away from the microphone. That's a really great technique. If you are moving into more of a belty sound, which you, which you did here. So just switch it up me. It's time to get loose. Okay, you can see that it's time to get loose. And she made more of a uh, loose. Yeah, rather than going loose and bringing her lips together as well. If you're on a more belting kind of quality, then we're wanting to keep the mouth in a slightly more trumpet shape. And that way we're going to be able to stay in that vocal part, uh, you know, in that vocal quality we're looking for. That's something I do go into though in my free masterclass all about belting. You can join me. Uh, there's a link in the description below. We go into vowel modification, which is super important when it comes to belting. And she moved away to a tap because obviously if you move your mouth away from the microphone the sound's going to go in that direction and the microphone's still going to pick it up but it's not going to be as loud as if i go time into the microphone there
Red is E5. <laughs> respect, Becky, respect. That's an E5. Da-da! So if you are someone, though, who does find belting relatively easy, and like Becky is a belter, regardless of whether she learned it or whether she started like that, she is a wonderful belter. Now, once you're sort of like on that track, you're going to find belting higher much, much easier. Um, so yes, that is high. And you can hear there is a little bit of narrowing going on, a little bit of more of that twang, which is that eh kind of sound. Uh, da -da! She does go into that. Da -da 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 -da. I, I'm just changing songs. Da -da -da. <laughs> Redirect, and she's doing these like little throwaway lines. Re disconnect, and I know that's the way that that song sounds, but it's going to help you as well to stay in that more belty style. Keep the the vocal folds really, really thick together, and keep those sounds quite short and sharp. You can see there is a as she was going along, she was sort of like change up your frequency and yeah so you can see that the, the arms are a little bit more pinned to the side now that sort of might be a way that she's sort of anchoring i don't know who her singing teacher is although she's from the uk i don't know if she went to the brit school or not i do know a couple of teachers from there but the anchoring in the back that's going on there in order to help to to reach those notes you did see as well short sharp high breath activating through here in these front pectoralis muscles in order to help that the that the diaphragm doesn't basically just spring up and get all of that air out all at once. We need more pressure here in the lungs when we're belting. I'm just going to interrupt there. Very, very typical as well. If you've been like belting your tits off at the top of your range and then you come back down again, that you're kind of, your larynx is a bit more stuck in that higher position. So you're going to then struggle to get those lower notes. Da -ba -da 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 -da. But let me know if that's something that you really struggle with, where the chorus goes up and then you struggle to bring the voice back down again into that verse. So just switch it up to me. It's time to get it wish that like there wasn't so much riding on some of these performances because it, it feel like you know Becky Hill she's doing an amazing job I just I kind of almost wanted her to I almost wanted to be like it's okay because I felt like she was just it looked she looked a bit stressed out about that performance um and at the end there like the eyes like very very fixed and amazing singer there's nothing you know obviously if you're in that situation and I don't know how many times she's performed at the Brits but maybe it's her first time um that when you do perform at the Brits it's a massive stage and it's an incredible opportunity but oh 
I love that performance. Very, very samey, samey in terms of the vocal qualities. Obviously, the verses went a little bit down, like lower in the range, and I struggle to hear the second, the second verse there. Um, but when it's talking about the belty, very, very same. Uh, we've got that trumpet shape going on. We're looking for more of an air. Disconnect. Rather than going reconnect. And I don't know, in my accent, I could connect, you know, and I'd be more wider in my vowel there. And in other, in other accents, obviously, you'd make different decisions. But it's about more making more of that air sound when we're coming to that belting. Oh. She looks like she works out as well. Like she's looking like she's got some good, good muscles going on there. And that's really important when we're looking, especially for belting, that we do strengthen the muscles in the upper chest and especially in the back, because that's going to have, you know, that whole posterior chain has a knock-on effect, especially when it comes to our breathing and our ability to support the sound. Um, so I, I do really recommend that you not only get around to, you know, walking, cardio is really important for singing, but also maybe getting onto some muscle training and uh, getting some professional help with there as well. Ah! Becky, that was fantastic. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button so we can geek out about vocal technique more often. And I'll see you around here more. I'll see you around here next time. Have an awesome rest of your day and tucky channel.